Hello everybody, Roxbox90 here, back with a quick channel update as well as some other Magic the Gathering news tidbits that have been coming out recently. Channel update. I know that it's been a little bit of a delay in terms of videos ever since the Eldritch Moon spoiler season. This is in large part due to my sadly missing the Eldritch Moon pre-release and release because my wife and I had a baby, which was wonderful. Really great. And if I wasn't so tired, you would truly hear the enthusiasm in my voice, but lesson learned, having a baby equals little sleep, but also much happiness. It's a great equation. It's important about it is because it's definitely impacted my output for Magic the Gathering videos on the channel, understandably. However, it's not to say it's not been happening. I have been working diligently on an Eldritch Moon top 10 video, and I'm hoping to do, I know I'm still, I never got to the Shadows over Innistrad top 10 commander video. It's also hopefully coming on the way. It's a little bit backed up in the pipeline. I'm working on it though. And in terms of the 15,000 subscriber video, I got up the third part last night. Definitely make sure to check out the, all three videos. The fourth one's coming soon. And of course, following the fourth will be the giveaway. And you can get into each of the different videos. Boom, you'll be great. In terms of some other interesting news going on right now, we have Mark Rosewater said there will be no contraptions or no combinations of things in Kaladesh. He says he considers it to be arguably the best set ever in league with Innistrad, and it's going to make you feel like an inventor when you play, but there will be no contraptions. Which, given that it's kind of a steampunk theme for a set, it's interesting that they're saying no contraptions. We'll have to see if that's really true, because if you look at... If you look at the October FNM promo, Rise from the Tides, which is six or sorcery, create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard, realize it uses a new templating here because it says the word create. Now, we know Kaladesh is going to be an inventor-style theme. It's probably going to have a steampunk theme as well. And the term create, instead of put them on the battlefield, now it's create, makes more sense flavor-wise creating tokens because you're creating these uh, sim simulacrums of various entities, zombies and such, and then they go away and they don't even go to the graveyard because they're not real, so to speak. Creating is a better term and I think it fits flavor-wise. The promo looks pretty sweet as well, even though the card itself is questionable in terms of its playability. But because of that, it makes it a little strange him saying there's no contraptions. We'll see what ends up happening. He, the way he's saying no contraptions doesn't mean that Magic wouldn't do something different and just have a different name for it. He's playing the game of teasing and speculation. Keep that in mind. Then we also have an announcement about the Eldritch Moon Mythics. All, uh, all the Mythics are in the packs with the same art. Now, I'd point you to the video, and I can also link it down below, from Darium's CCG. They made a video showing a couple of boxes where they said if you open the video, the non-flip mythics will all be within the same pack. So the packs have Liliana on the front, for example, if the other packs do not have the non-flip myth mythics, all of them will be within the Liliana packs, and the same thing with the other arts. Whichever, whichever one has the first mythic will have all the rest outside of the flips. He says this is a general rule from what he's seen. He has a pretty wide breadth because he's a decently sized store and he is involved in the industry. So it makes sense that he would have a understanding, at least in the United States, of how these boxes are acting. He said he himself has found in the same case. It's been happening. It's happened to people he knows. It seems to be a bigger issue going on. And what's important to note about it is you can see the video yourself. But what's important to note is that this is a huge implication because this means that it's going to be very, very easy and effective for this set to be, for it to be abused by store owners who aren't quite 100% ethical and honest, meaning they can open one of, a couple of each of the packs, see which one has all the mythics, open all of those, and then try to sell off the other ones, make a huge profit margin off of this. It also is unfair to people who are splitting boxes, sharing boxes, who don't know about this, because of the fact that it can end up being skewed. And the overall overall just shouldn't be the case. It means there's not enough of randomization from these boxes being created. And yeah, it's questionable what's going on here. So 
I don't really know how this will change. I'm assuming there will be some complaints even from the more ethical store owners who want this to be out there so people know. And I'm hoping Wizards corrects for it because this kind of thing shouldn't be happening. And the last thing I want to know, this actually happened because Comic-Con happened a little bit ago. There were new promos. If you haven't heard of these before, if you lived under a rock like myself or had a baby or have any other kind of situation, there are these new promos that were the Planeswalkers. They are not the infamous black on white from the prior years and they have alternate artwork where they're zombified except for Liliana but then you have the Gideon, Jace, Chandra, and Nissa are all zombified which is pretty much where I expected the story to go honestly where she would turn around backstab them all kill them all and they'd all be her zombie zombies they're not the old planeswalkers who were essentially deities who couldn't really do this to these are more or less human beings they're mortals uh, and that means that this could very well have happened. It's more of a Walking Dead flavor theme. I, honestly, I like the black and white a little more for the uniqueness. This one is kind of fun for um, for its unique flavor. We haven't really seen something like this. It's a little bit commercialized, but hey, it, for those who are into this kind of thing, it's a it's an interesting theme set. Realize it says in the article they're going for 100 bucks. That is, of course, a complete lie. These limited sets never go for that price. If you look at the older years, we're talking anywhere from 150 to three, four, three to 400 dollars, depending on which walkers and which set. Going back, I, these are currently going for anywhere from 150 to 250. If you can get it under 200, I would say it's pretty reasonable. These tend to do well, although I would think that the black on white style walkers will probably hold their value longer than these, but they're they're all going to be limited release sets. So let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down below in the comment section. And again, I'm really hoping to get back in involved with the video video's output, and I'm working on a top 10 for Eldritch Moon. That hopefully will be coming soon, so stay, stay tuned. A lot of rhymes there. And as always, Roxabox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.